hello everyone so welcome back again and today we are going to do the configuration for what the trunking okay for that we need a local area network cable LAN cable rj45 cable is here let me connect one rj45 cable to my first interface of one switch okay so we have connected the two switch with the cross cable so this is our cross cable on which we have connected the two switches and and here this is our console cable by which first of all we are going to configure the first switch this is the console cable for the first switch and that's it that is connected to my pc and let me tell you how you can take the access for the uh, console also okay for that you have to go to what go to your pc and check the connections okay so everyone if you want to take the console access first of all you have to go to device manager okay go to device manager and click on com ports you will find that com port 3 from the switch is connected to our pc so that it means usb serial port com port 3 is connected to what our switch so you have to provide this information to the switch also okay how we can do uh, you have to provide this information in putty also let me open the putty in my pc Okay, in Putty app, it will ask you that which type of connection is this. Okay, here you have to provide this information that I'm using USB serial port and USB serial port number is what? COM port 3. So you have to provide this information to what? This PC. Okay, let's do the same. So let me go to what? Uh, let me click on serial and put here what? COM port three so com port three because our usb is using what com port three so you have to mention com port three here by this you will got the console access for one switch so first of all we will go to global configuration mode uh privilege mode in which you will check how many interfaces are available show vlan brief okay there's only one vlan available vlan 10 and vlan 11 also available okay so we are going to create the trunk port on switch number one. Okay. Let me explain you how you can create the trunk. Okay, dear Rolf, let me explain you what is our topology. So this is our topology that this is a switch one and this is switch two and these are connected via cable like this. Let me connect them via cable. And here you already know that on one side, the dynamic auto has been already by default all the switches interface are in what dynamic auto mode okay and other side this is also in dynamic auto currently dynamic auto so this is our topology okay on which you already know that when the dtp protocols works so dynamic auto plus trunk will be equal to what trunk the combination of dynamic auto and and the trunk will be equal to what trunk so what is the uh, administrative mode administrative mode for is for the switch one is dynamic auto and second one is also dynamic auto i'm going to change the mode to trunk on this side so whenever i will change the uh, uh the mode to the trunk it will automatically the combination become what the link become trunk <laughs> so that is why what we are going to do so on one side configuration the other side will be automatically become what trunk so let's go to so we will go to global configuration mode select the interface fa0 slash 2 okay we have connected the switch interface fa0 slash 2 on both side switch port mode trunk by this configuration the link will come the trunk link okay interface fa0 slash 2 switch port so uh, you can see whenever i will put this command show interface fa0 slash 2 switch port so the mode will become what trunk mode what mode is this this is the trunk mode administrative mode is trunk and the operational mode is trunk by configuring one side other will automatically become the trunk okay so this is how we can configure the trunk uh, by the help of a dtp protocol
Okay, everyone. Have a nice day. I hope you like the session.